Welcome to Tales of Terror. Another day, another adventure. This adventure starts at Fontana Dam in North Carolina. It is a beautiful, beautiful site that we will be heading to Marina. What you see behind us is the gorgeous dam lake. GoPro, stop recording. Stop recording. <laughs> GoPro did not listen to me. <laughs> Look at that. We are at Smoky Mountains and we can see the smoke on the mountains. It is such a beautiful sight. By anticipating weather conditions, TBA can reduce the severity of flooding. Fontano's reservoir level is drawn down in the fall in anticipation of the heavy rainfall that normally occurs in late winter and early spring. We're on top of one of the high dam on east of Mississippi. This is not as high as the Hoover Dam, but it is darn close. And people are enjoying themselves on the lake and there is an electricity being generated as we speak and it's all win-win. I'm so excited so I cannot speak. This is the first dam I walk over. I'm feeling very well. What uh, about Hoover Dam? Okay, I've, I've been a Hoover Dam, but this is uh, only two of us walk now. So. Oh, <laughs> oh, there there were people over there, yeah. so you didn't mind. Yes. Now here you're scared. Yes. <laughs> My little scare bird. Yes, I am. Fontana Dam, the length is 2,365 feet and the height is 480 feet. Built by a TVA in 1942 to 1945 as a unit of its multi-purpose system of dams. At no other site in the TVA system is flood control more essential than at Fontana. The area receives an average annual rainfall of about 58 inches, most of any Tennessee River tributary. The Little Tennessee River, which Fontana is on, drains an area of 2,650 square miles, more than 75% of which is mountainous. Before Fontana Dam was built, several damaging floods occurred in the Little Tennessee River Valley. The impact of floodwaters from this area reached communities as far as Chattanooga. <laughs> Fontana Dam is the highest dam east of the Rocky Mountains. Construction began in 1942 and ended in 1945. It is an incredibly short amount of time for a dam this size. If it was to be built today's times, it would take at least 10 years. And I say 50 years for the environmental studies to complete. What you see is the US East Coast, all the way from Canada, and moving downwards, all of this stretch, mostly on the dark blue, but also on the Appalachian Trail and Shenandoah National Park, we've done it all. You see the mountain stretch, most of it, we visited. Down south, we were on the coast, and we made it all the way down to Florida, at the very edge of the continental USA. 